over a minute of stoppage time at the end of this first half. He it looks like he's going to just dink it into the penalty area. In it goes towards Smith, heads oh. it down. It's waiting for a chance, Luongo on the turn, thumping it past the goalkeeper. And QPR get a goal back just before the break. Fulham can't really believe it. What a good finish it was as well, as it was knocked down by Smith. And he's absolutely smashed it past the goalkeeper. Yeah, I mean, it was poor defending. I think, it was, I think it was Kevin McDonald who didn't actually challenge with Smith. Oh. Yeah, it's been dramatic end of the first half, Phil. Uh, Fredericks breaking down the right, pulled it back at the byline. Cessignon touched it into the path of Piazon, who the Portuguese. Uh, but then the ball will break for Zolek. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Zolek, bottom corner. He doesn't know where to celebrate. He's running away from the QPR fans who are in jubilation as QPR level the match. Fulham, this is not what they've been like this year, but they've given away two goals, having held a 2-0 lead. And with nine minutes to go, Zolak makes it Fulham 2, QPR 2. Well, it's what they deserve. I just said it 30 seconds ago that they deserve it. They've got to work, they've got to work their way back into it. They deserve to be in here and they've got it. What a mistake that was in the back line. Overplaying again, unnecessary trying to beat, the, being the last man trying to beat somebody when you don't have to. And sometimes you get what you deserve and Fulham deserve that in certain ways because they've tried to overplay Every single time they keep trying to play out the back when it is totally unnecessary. Oh no, 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 it's fine. Fredericks on the ball, just inside his own half, gets it forward to Shea Ojo. Fredericks down the line for Ojo. 